Hi gang, so this is part two of my little PSVR, um, or just VR in general, testing things out. I was able to borrow my friend's uh, PSVR 2 headset, and so it's going to be comparing it to what I have. It's the HTC uh, uh, XR Elite. I know it's been getting some um, bad reviews for different things. Some of it I agree with, some of it I don't, but that's what I we were able to compare it to. So some people are already saying like, oh man, you already have your... your um, biases and everything and that's fair you know i think everybody up to an extent has some biases so what i ended up doing is i had two friends females who weren't gamers at all but were interested in seeing what the big hype was about so we tried to do two games the best of what pc has to offer and then what the best sony has to offer so it, it was half-life alex versus Call of the mountain the problem with that is when I played them, they were two totally different games. It felt like one, you were playing like a real life District 9 type of thing. And the other one was kind of like a Jurassic Park Part 1. And I'll say why Part 1 more than anything else later on. And then we had Kayak on both. So we were able to say, okay, well, how did you feel on this one? And what did you see? And, you know, so, but just getting off the back, I don't want this video to go too long, is that the PSVR 2 is an amazing piece of hardware i'm gonna say that right off the bat i really like it i really like the pop of hdr the colors come out so vibrant it's just super just uh, gives you that whoa factor right um it's supposed to be registered at 120 frames the the haptic feedback you feel actually does make a difference in the games i don't like it on the ps5 controllers although the rumble wise i turn those off I just don't like it there, but this one, it does work. Like when we're playing with the kayak, as we move forward, it kind of pushes you in the head. So it kind of gives you the sensation like you're moving forward. So it does give you that immersion, which I give it. It's it's great. Okay, so now uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to say what I have a problem with. The problem is not with the headset itself. It's really with the compatibility with the PS5. It does not have enough juice to actually power all the abilities of it. And it really shows in these really mega games, I call them um, the Horizon game. So I didn't look at some of the other data and wanted to compare it afterwards if, if it was just me. So like when I was playing Call of the Mountain, it didn't seem as smooth, you know? And, and later on we found out they're using an interpolated form and it's not like DLS 3 where it's making frames. It's just kind of like, it's a ghost shadow. Or something and it was cool in, during the opening but then when it got into the really intense sequences the frame started dropping and it started causing nausea and you know that was the part where it was kind of crazy we're like what and then we're able to see what it looks inside and on the screen and on the screen you could tell it's not even close to a 4k image it's very blocky you know and i understand that they're using all these uh, techniques they're using something called forward i can't even pronounce it forwarded rendering where Everything looks clear in the middle and it kind of blurs out almost like a Gaussian blur on a picture. It looks nice on a picture, but on that, it just looks weird. And so that's where um, the PC does benefit from it. Now, the disadvantage here is that we were using a 4090 and this is 90 frames. But I could tell you at a solid 90 frames, it looked way better, sharper, cleaner than it did this at 120 frames. It it looked like this, it, you can see it clear, but then it blurs out on your peripheral view, and then it kind of clears up as you're moving around as it's detecting your eyes. This one, it's like clear everywhere. No matter what, you could see, you could tell that the text is sharp. And as you come, the text is always sharp. It's just a different experience. When it's sharper, it just feels and looks better. So that's the thing with it. I think, unfortunately, with the PS5, I don't think it'll benefit as much with this uh, headset until maybe a ps6 where it can actually do 120 frames um correctly and then it'll actually shine the way it is other than that if you're prone to nausea it's it's you're it's going to cause it in those intense games because it doesn't seem like it's able to keep it up and so i looked it up on digital foundry and they're saying yeah the their major games are playing at 60 frames and it's kind of interpolating it at 120 and it's noticeable especially when it can maintain it and it just kind of wobbles i just didn't enjoy the experience unfortunately um also the the tracking is great 
Uh, when the kayak, it could lose the tracking. There's a part where we looked down just to see where our hand placement and our hand was already up to the side and we lost tracking here. So we had to kind of move back. So it's not a perfect one-to-one. -one. It has a great field of view as far as the tracking is concerned, but you could still lose it. But it's nothing like the PS uh, VR one where you could just move out of like out of the camera and it just kind of like then you're kind of screwed. You have to get back in in it. It's nothing like that. So if your only experience is PS VR one, this is a uh, generation above. The visuals are a generation above from the last one, even the PC ones. So overall, make it as you will. I think it like you'll be impressed if all you had is PSVR one. You'll be pretty impressed by what it is, but depending how your nausea level is, you know, I I can't finish Call of the Mountain as it is, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame because it is a great game from what I can tell. But yeah, and that's why I had to compare it with Jurassic Park 1 because the first Jurassic Park had to do all these tricks to kind of make you believe it. And unfortunately, that's what they're doing here because they can't really have like super sharp textures. It just doesn't look good on the screen and they're able to hide it when they put it through this because it's very small. So the textures don't look as bad. But as we're watching on TV, it just doesn't look good. And, um, you know, the 4A rendering, I'm, I'm butchering that name. And so, yeah, it is what it is on it, guys. I enjoyed it for what it is. I played the little games that look like bug snacks. I didn't have any problem with those, you know, they're kind of like just kitty games. But it's a cool experience just to spend the time. But, yeah, um, for 550 bucks, I think it's a great system. I think... It would be great for PCs or wait for the PS6 to kind of really unleash what it could do. But hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys have a great time. Enjoy your weekend coming up. All right. Bye.